Annyeong chingus! I am Juliana Margaret Carasi, your friendly registered dietitian. So I see that you are watching this and because of that, you are now part of the Health in Living Amidst the Pandemic. The first one is, what does a dietitian do? Hmm, so what do we do? Dietitians and nutritionists provide nutritional advice to patients. We are specialized in the use of food and nutrition to improve health and treat disease. So basically, we give people advice on what food to eat in order to live a healthy lifestyle or achieve a specific health. Good. Amazing, right? Question is, why do we need to be healthy? Nice question. So, we need to be healthy most especially during pandemic. Why? During times of stress and uncertainty, it can be easily to fall into bad habits, neglecting already established healthy routines such as maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle supports your mind and body, making you better equipped to deal with the difficulties posed by the coronavirus pandemic. Healthy diets are vital for maintaining immune system, even if no foods or dietary supplements may prevent or cure COVID-19 infection. Good nutrition can also reduce the likelihood of developing other health problems including obesity, heart disease, diabetes, and some types of cancer. So let's move on to the next question. What are the proper nutritions that an individual needs to take? So I'll discuss it as short as possible. So basically, there are six. Yes. Six essential nutrients that a person needs to intake. What are those? There are vitamins, minerals, protein, fats, water, and carbohydrates. Protein is the building block of the body, made up of different amino acids. And did you know that the hormones, antibodies, and other important substances are composed of protein? Next is carbohydrates. These are the fuel for our body and also it stores any extra sugar in the liver and muscles for when it is needed. Followed by fats where it supports vitamins and minerals absorption, supports blood clotting, high in calories which is an important source of energy for our the body. The next one is vitamins along with minerals. So these are for many body functions and help support the body. So its functions are they help shore up bones, heal wounds, and bolster your immune system. They also convert food into energy and repair cellular damage. And last but not the least, water, which it improves brain function and mood flushes out toxins, carries nutrients to cells, and most especially hydrates the body. The last question, what are some tips to stay healthy during the pandemic? Hmm, I have four tips for all of you. The first tip is that maintain your health by eating healthy foods. Good nutrition is one of the keys to a healthy life. You can improve your health by keeping a balanced diet. You should eat foods that contain vitamins and minerals. This includes fruits, vegetables, whole grains, dairy, and a source of protein. The second tip is to exercise regularly and be active. Many people are suffering from anxiety and depression as a result of a lack of social support and fears, lalo na sa COVID-19. But exercise can help to alleviate these symptoms. When you exercise, your body produces more endorphins, which reduce pain and elevate mood. So here are some of the workouts that you can do at home because gyms are closed during this time of pandemic. So, here are the body weight workout. It can incorporate a variety of movements that do not require equipment. So, tamang tama ito. It includes stretching, burpees, squats, lunges, push-ups, and yoga. 
The third one is to get enough sleep. Good sleep is essential to our overall health. Focusing on sleep is a natural fit for working on self-care. As we know that getting enough sleep can benefit your immune system, it is advisable to sleep for 8 hours for our body to function well during the day. Lastly, the fourth one, we need to stay connected and updated. Talking with loved ones while in isolation can help reduce the anxiety and instances of feeling down. Take time to utilize the multitudes of technologies and apps that can help you stay in touch with those you love. And that is it! Don't forget to wear a face mask, most especially going outside. And also, don't forget to sanitize. Don't be stubborn and follow the rules such as social distancing. Your health matters. Again, this is Juliana Margaret Carasi, your most friendly registered dietitian. Annyeong!